Welcome to Electron Align. In the previous video, we saw that when you buy a house and you get a loan, you start making payments, and after, let's say, five years, a large percentage of the original principal is still not paid off because much of your payments every month actually go to paying interest and not so much principal to the bank. However, after five years, you saw that the t out of the total payments, about a third went to principal and two-thirds went to, to actual paying interest to the bank. But when the rates go up, it's not as good. So for example, let's do the same kind of thing. We have a $200,000 loan, but now we're going to have an interest rate at 8% instead of 4% for 30 years. Now your monthly payments went to $1,467.53 per month. So after five years, let's say you want to sell your house, how much do you still owe to the bank? What is the principal remaining? And so when you sell your house, you have to then pay that to the bank and then what's left over does then for yourself. All right, so here's the equation to figure out the principal. It's equal to the monthly payments times the rest of the equation. Let's plug in some numbers and see what we get. So in this case, the monthly payments would be $1,467.53. We multiply that times one minus one plus the rate divided by the number of payments per year times minus M. Oop, I keep writing M, but I want to write 12 instead because M is equal to 12 times the time, that's a 30-year loan, minus the five years that are already passed. So X represents the number of years that have passed. And we divide that by uh, the rate, 0 0.08 divided by 12. And we'll close the bracket. So let's see what the principal remaining is after five years of making those large payments. So again, starting from here, we go point, oop, point 0 0.08 divided by 12 plus one, we're going to raise that to 12 times 25 and a minus, so that would be raised to the minus 300 power. And then we subtract it from one. Then we multiply times 12 and divide by 0 0.08 because we, when we divide by fraction, same as multiplying by its inverse, so times 12 divided by 0 0.08, and then we multiply that times the monthly payment of $1,467.53. So, how much do you still owe the bank after five years of making payments? And you'd be surprised that it would still be $190,139.82. Which means, at that point, after five years of payments, you have paid less than $10,000 in principal, and everything else you paid to the bank was interest. Well, what were your total payments after five years? Well, the total payments after five years will be equal to the monthly payment of $1,467.53 per month. And then, of course, five years, a total of 60 months. So we multiply that times 60 months. And so we get $1,467.53 times 60 equals, you will have paid the bank in the first five years a total of $88,051.80. Wow, that's a lot of money. And from that, less than 10,000 of it went to principal. So let's take the difference between 200,000 and this number. So 200,000 minus 190,139.82. So that means that only $9,860.18 went to principal. And the vast majority of those five years of payments so we take that number and we subtract it from 88,051.8. And you can then say that interest to the bank for those five years was $78,191.62. And that was uh, interest to the bank. So notice that when the interest rate goes up, all kinds of bad things happen. It's much more difficult to pay off your loan. After five years of making very high payments of almost $1,500 a month and paying $88,000 to the bank, the bank gets to keep 78,000 of that and only $9,800 goes to paying off your loan so that you still owe the bank over $190,000 after five years of payments. When the interest rates are high, buying homes is very tough and the financial situation of buying homes is not as good as when the rates go down. So that's why low rates are good high rates are not so good. And you can see why in the equation when we calculate the principal remaining after a certain number of years of paying, making those high payments. And that's how we figured it out.